na watu wanyakupa wa kwa Amparo First Samuel 25 from the verse 21 First Samuel 25 to 21 and please if you are watching kindly share don't just sing and because you are singing a slow song you think it is worship every worship must have a supreme being that the worship is being directed onto you don't just worship in a vacuum your worship must be directed onto someone and that someone must be someone you revere someone you honor someone you fear someone able and capable of taking the life and giving it back to you someone capable of taking a rotten life and turning it into a sweet smelling life someone capable someone able of turning the impossibilities into possibilities so before you open your mouth and you lift up your hands and your voice to worship you need to know who the worship is going to this is a story that everybody knows second samuel the chapter number 25 the verse 21 first samuel sorry read it first samuel 25 from the verse 21 <laughs> now david has said surely in vain have i can you work on her microphone because i need our viewers to hear this scripture and catch the revelation and the power worship carries. Listen, listen, many people don't know or if not almost everybody, you need to know that the most powerful weapon given to the believer is worship. Everywhere you find worship, God manifests himself more. Because worship creates a heavenly atmosphere. The atmosphere of heaven is worship. So wherever you find genuine, authentic worship, heaven is created. Can I get an amen? amen. Continue. Now David has said, surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow has in the world. So, so, so I'm bringing you somewhere. David protected Nabal servants his flock and everything for a long time and David needed just something small to eat and Nabal said no I will not give you then David said it was in vain I protected this man's properties are you making God say the same to you is God saying the same when it is worship? After all that he has done for you, after protecting you during this COVID, you still are bluffing in coming to church. You still have a problem in worshiping him. Wait and hear what is coming. So Continue. That, Continue. So that nothing was missed of all that pertained to him. So all that I have done for this person is waste and useless. Continue. And he has requited me evil for good. Mm. Uh -huh. So and more also do God unto the enemies of David. So, so, so when you fail to give God worship, he will deny you the worship you deserve. Chinin chika. Do me, I do you. Koka, maka, koko, mako. David said, all I did for this man is that the best way to honor me. May the same thing happened to him like he has done to me now continue if I live of all that pertain to him by the morning light if I live one thing I ever protected a life for this man then God no day most of us the problems we are going through is not witchcraft but failure to worship God failure to recognize and honor him the way he deserves that is why God has now taken away his hedge. For your information, in Job, the enemy said, because you have created the hedge, 
That is why he worships you. So if in the provision of the hedge, you don't worship, then you don't deserve the hedge. Continue. Any that pisseth against the wall. 23. And when Abigail saw David, she hasted. I love this. Now wait. David was coming revealed to you. Nebal has been Abigail's headache. Nebal has been like a thorn in the flesh of Abigail. I don't know the problem you have been carrying for years. Oh Lord, help me. Mahado Shabaya. Nebal was like a disgrace. He was like a boil. Abigail was walking an intelligently brilliant woman with a load of foolishness. So all the life of Abigail, there was a load, a stinky headache on, his, on her head. And David sent for something Nebal didn't give. I believe Abigail had prayed. She's done everything and it wasn't working. I'm bringing you somewhere. Your burden is about to be lifted off. Oh, your amen needs a recharge card. Your amen is diabetic. Your amen is infested. Listen to me. You have prayed. That is why I love this song. You have fasted, you have prayed. But it's in the more you pray. And the more your problems multiply for you. But have you tried to worship? Listen to me. Abigail, when she heard that David was angry, she decided not to pray but to apply worship. Now jump to when Abigail saw David. And when Abigail, 23, and when Abigail saw David, she hasted and lighted of the ass. She got down. Come down from your high office in the presence of God. Come down from your high court gown. Come down from your title. You have a problem and you are still carrying your load to his presence. Who are who or how? Who are who are who are who are who are who some of you are not having solutions to your problem because God cannot trust you after solving the problem. Who are this year now? She will dare. But when Abigail, the one who had what David needed, came down, the fact that you have something somebody needs does not mean the person is useless. David needed food. Abigail had food. David didn't have food, but he had the power to take their lives. Be careful who you allow your possession to make you feel bigger and better than. Because there are some people who don't matter in the sight of men, but they matter unto God. So everything you do to them, he will let you pay. I pray for you. Anybody more treating you, anybody treating you anyhow, making you go through difficulties, pain, and sorrows that you don't deserve. The Lord is on his way to the person's house. Amen. I feel like having a worship tonight. Please continue. And fell before David on her face. And she bowed. fell before David on her face. Crayon, Nicola pencil now, dear Fowler, Nemono, and Yana Nebra de Pasha Butu Masatiana, a Yosa who of Fentino, Manira, and Yana Nebra de Shisha, Sanka Radish, and Penimo, and Kayamubi and Sam Fatau. If it's a Nipapu or a woman, Nemo, that's what Makuma Mufeno, a bit near Sasa, you so check what you think God is looking at. That may not be what He's looking. Abigail, I'm talking about the power of worship. Remember, my daughter, I told you earlier that the headache of Abigail was the husband Nebal. Let me tell you something. The ability to lift off your burden through worship, the possibility of having your burdens lifted off through worship is 110%. Continue. And fell at his feet. She fell at the feet of David. And said, and said, Upon me, my Lord, 
upon me. Let this iniquity be. True worshippers are selfless. They are sacrificial. And they are down to earth. True worshippers. They are selfless. They are sacrificial. And they are down to earth. Oh, tonight something is boiling within me. Share it and let somebody receive this blessing. Continue. My Lord, upon me let this iniquity be. And let thy handmaid, I pray thee, speak in, thy, in thine audience. Do you remember the song? Jesus. Every Sometimes it is not comfortable, it is so frustrating, it is heart wrenching, it is bone crushing. But still, I will worship you in my hunger, I will worship you in my pain. Sing it for me. Something is boiling. Jesus. You may come from an accursed family. Your worship can set you free. Your family may be poor. Worship can change it. Na Madonia wudo, na Maria wudo, na Madonia wudo, na Maria. I love this one.
Yes, the one 
Abigail knelt before David and when you read further first Samuel 25 from 23 going and the Bible says she worshipped she worshipped David she worshipped David she worshipped David Abigail worshipped David because at that time the life of her whole family including her headache was at risk 
their lives were about to be lost but when Abigail worshipped David Bible says and David said to her you have done the right thing you just saved your whole family can I throw this to you the salvation of your business the salvation of your marriage the salvation of your relationship the salvation of your finance is directly tied to the quality of your worship I want to throw this to you tonight if you want answers try the formula called worship if you want healing try the formula called worship if you want deliverance try the formula called worship is there anything that God cannot do but until you make him God he cannot do anything he takes your worship to make him God now hear the ending point when Abigail finished worshipping and she came back home Babo said her headache was severe because Nepal was seriously drunk so the headache which was Nepal was in the west of state I just finished saving your life only for me to come and find you still fooling Bible says because he was drunk Abigail didn't say anything the next morning oh I prophesy by tomorrow morning Jesus. that burden will be lifted Amen. off you that curse will be broken Amen. that poverty will disappear Amen. for with God all things are possible the next morning Bible says when they told Nebah what had happened Bible says the life was taken out of him and there and then Abigail's burden died Abigail's headache died my darling whatever you have been carrying for years is about to die by your worship Amen. in the next 10-15 minutes drop every weight before the Lord in worship don't mention you see you see let me tell you something when you come before God don't tell him your problems tell him who he is him who he is so if you don't know God you mention your problems but if you know him you mention his names oh yeah I am denied of my peace no problem I'll not mention the things that are denying me my peace well once upon a time I realized your name is Jehovah Shalom tell him who he is in the midst of your problem and he will know David discovered that he is the mighty man of war so when Goliath came he mentioned the name of the warrior and then he stepped in David didn't tell God what the problem was he told the problem who his God is Jesus if you will worship God tonight then it means you are telling him who he is you are making him king Yesu di wuhini di wuhini Yesu di wa hindi ya da hindi wotu me bro to me ya na ha where new nyam i shall soon nyasa now lift up your voice describe the god you know to the God you are worshiping right now go ahead if you are watching me right now you can type it on Facebook as you are watching whatever description you have to give to God put it there Keep describing him. Yes, I see awesome God. I see I am that I am. 
I see Yehovah I see the ancient of this the mighty warrior king of this go ahead as you describe him that is how he will appear in your life go ahead the way maker oh Reggie God bless you describe your God write it right now keep describing him all knowing God Lion of Judah Joyce, God bless you my daughter All knowing Creator Only present Go ahead, describe him That is your worship That is your worship Keep the description coming Keep describing him Keep describing him Yes most high faithful lion of Judah the flameless fire omnipotent the beginning go ahead describe him lord of lords Jehovah Nisi, Adonai, the destiny helper, God, oh my God, my God, my God, as you describe him, your problems are living, as you describe him, your crisis, as you describe ah, ah. can you paint a picture of your God, can you paint it, can you paint it? God of impossibilities. He makes impossible things become possible. Mighty man of war. Consuming fire. Hey! Omnipresent, mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. Yes, yes. Keep describing. Don't let your fingers get tired. Keep describing him. Yes. Somebody is falling under the anointing. Where's you type? You fell. Yeah.